Hey guys, the IMO 2023 takes place this weekend in Japan and I want to present a solution to problem 2 for you. At first, let's have a look on the problem statement. We have given a triangle ABC. Point S is chosen as the midpoint of the arc BC that also contains the point A. Now we draw in the perpendicular line to BC going through A and intersect it at first with BS at a point D and with a circumcircle of triangle ABC a second time at E. Line BE intersects the parallel line to BC going through D at a point L. Now we draw in the circumcircle of triangle LBD and intersect it with the circumcircle of triangle ABC another time at a point P. We are asked to prove that the tangent to this circle here going through the point P intersects BS at a point X that lies on the angle bisector of BAC, which is the line AW, where W is the midpoint of the minor arc BC. Our first step is to prove that the points L, P and S are collinear. To do this, we will do an angle chase and we start with the angle L, P, B. And I want to note that I will use oriented angles modulo 180 degrees. We get that angle L, P, B is equal to angle L, D, B, and now we can use that these two blue lines here are parallel to get that this is equal to angle C, B, D, and C, B, D is nothing but angle C, B, S. Since S is the midpoint of the arc B, C, we know that the angle C, B, S is equal to the angle S, C, B. And now we can use the fact that P lies on a circumcircle of triangle A, B, C to conclude that this is equal to A the angle S, P, B. This proves our first step, which was a main observation for solving this problem. We are ready to go on to the second step, which is to prove that the intersection of P, W and A, E, which I call Z, lies on the circumcircle of triangle L, B, D. We again will do an angle chase, and here we use the fact that both A, E and S, W are perpendicular to B, C, and thus they are parallel. So we get that the angle B, D, Z is equal to the angle B, S, W, which is equal to the angle B, P, W, and B, P, W is nothing but the angle B, P, Z. So Z lies indeed on the circle here and our second step is done. In our third step, we want to prove that another point Y lies on the same circle. And here y is defined as the intersection of bw and ap. We again prove this by only calculating angles. Namely, we have that the angle lpy is equal to the angle spa, which is equal to the angle swa. And now we can use again the fact that these two green lines here are parallel to get that this is equal to the angle ea. W or the angle EBW and now finally we get that the angle EBW is equal to the angle LBY which also proves our third step. After these three steps here we found a lot of points on this circle and if you don't know how to finish now this is a good point to remind you to think about Pascal's theorem because the problem statement immediately follows by Pascal's theorem on the six points P, P, Z, D, B and Y. Namely P, P, which is just the tangent to P intersected with D, B is X, P, Z intersected with B, Y is W and Z, D intersected with Y, P is A and therefore by Pascal's theorem these three points A, X and W are collinear and we are done.